Okay, here is our last relation, our last set of ordered pairs. We're going to discuss domain range and tell if it's a function or not a function. So first again, let's name our domain. Remember, domain are your x values, okay? Range are the y values. So let's go. Here's x, here's x, x, x. Let's write them down. So we have our little brace, our little squiggle. We have 3, we have negative 1, I have negative 3, I have negative 2. For my range, my brace, I have negative 4, negative 8, I have a 1, and I have another 1. But remember, if it repeats, you don't have to write it again. Now, looking for function, not function. Function says if the x repeats, it's not a function. If it does not repeat, it is a function. So let's look and see, do I repeat? There's a 3, one time. There's a 1, there's a negative 3. So positive 3 and negative 3 are not the same thing. So, so far we're good. And a negative 2. Oh, look at that. I didn't repeat. So because I did not repeat, I am a function. And what does that mean? Basically, that means when I graph this, if I were to plot all those points and connect their dots, it should make what we call a function, all right? Okay, come back and we're going to do some more function vocabulary.